So Marie was holding my photo and just looking. I was like, oh, my God, it's me. I'm so small. And then I thought about how sometimes we're hard on ourselves. And we have these like self talks. If you've ever watched Turning Red, I think that's a great example mm. uh, of Mei Lin. <laughs> which, but there are times, you know, when you look in the mirror or you're like where you get critiques or you do something, you make a mistake. And then you have this like, they're like, why did you do that? You're better than this. You're her pride and joy. Act like it mm. Um, mm -hmm. type of moments. And seeing myself as a baby, I'm like, would I ever say that to this adorable little Lauren? I don't know. Mm. And I thought of myself, like, verbally berating my younger self. Oh. And that's what, like, hit hard because I was like, why Why do I treat myself like that sometimes? Why, like, why do I say this? Why do I say that? Like, why do I, why do I hold myself to, to such a, sometimes an impossible standard? I don't think it's, it's not bad to be a hard worker, but you need to give yourself wins and, like, give yourself credit where it's due. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we hold ourselves to such high standards, we don't do that because we're like, you could do better. Mm. You could do more. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you not doing more? And looking at myself as a child, I think that's why I like, I started crying. And then I like, I was like, oh no, because, because I was like, I, no one should talk to themselves like that. We would never treat each other like that. Why do we do that to ourselves? Yeah. And it made me reevaluate how I talk to myself and how like and how also I show up for like other people, you know, verbalizing, like giving people wins, like where, where it's due or like recognizing and validating wherever they are at, whatever it is. So that's that is what came up for me. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, okay. Okay, okay. The very a lot of this I ever seen in, in movies somehow it all, always ends up being you your father met uh, fought my father now we have to fight or like something like the whole like you yes. hurt my hurt me as a ch child the bad oh fuck it i'm gonna say the batman it involved a childhood trauma and it's affecting them as an adult mm. and then very much like how i'm thinking like how oh. i was doing, doing some therapy a lot of it ends up just usually ends up being inner child work because of Everything is just like layer and layer and layer and layer of what we were supposed to be, expectations of us, how we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to be achieving. And everything is about like every, and we develop the, the programming that we have in our mind is based off that. Mm -hmm. the, the decisions we make are subconsciously from what our parents said, what our uncle said, teacher said, whatever. So we end up, that their voice ends up becoming our voice. And then through like my experience in therapy is like, through doing a lot of the like uh, the inner child work is like you what kind who, who is the your favorite adult who like who like and all that stuff or what kind of parent would you like to be like you need to be the adult your inner child needs mm -hmm. every day like you need to be the one that gives yourself the high five the pat in the back so and then that was, it kind of went there <laughs> like was we did I say that, that some. Okay inner child work stuff we did there already but yeah and 